what your wife's doing on my couch? And when did you even get in here, aunt? Oh, ho, ho. <gasps> are you a ghost rider now? Hmm. Something, something's fishy. Anyways, welcome to my mansion. Beautiful mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a mansion, right? Welcome to my house. What can I do for you? And what brings you here? Because the last time I remember you wanted nothing to do with me. You cut our relation and you threw me out of your home. So I'm, I'm pretty much confused what you're doing. I mean, you, you, you can talk to me. I'm not high. I'm just... Super fly. <laughs> that was a joke. I mean, did you not get it? Ants. I listened to your voice now. Thank you for apologizing for how you kicked me out of your home, but I'm not ready to come back. Because I've been tortured my whole life with the way you kick me out like a dog. You know that I have never known my mother. And father committed suicide, of course, because of my tenors. And actually, did I tell you I'm delivering drugs for my tenors? <laughs> I'm working for my tenors, aunt. Yeah. The dude likes me though. <laughs> I never liked his style. But <clears throat> I can't come back. You ended the relationship that we had, Aunt. You kicked me out of your life and just because you saw drugs under my pillow. Every day of my life, I have cried myself to sleep. I, I was just wishing that you, that you could give me one chance. Just one chance to explain myself. Art, those drugs were not mine. It was Brianna, yes. Yes. It was Brianna. She told me all about drugs, and she gave those to me. I hadn't even used them yet, but when you saw them, you just, you exploded and went crazy and kicked me out. I, I had to leave on the streets until, until I really, really had to use the drugs because they were all I had. The gang has been there for me every single day that you left me. Because I'm sorry, Aunt. I'm sorry, but let me say this. The gang makes a pretty good family. Actually, the gang family is better than the family you call yourself as a church. Because you go on your knees, you pray every time, but when it comes to showing the life you preach, you don't do it. You don't. And now you're here apologizing to me. No, don't. Don't apologize. It's okay. I'm so over it. <laughs> it's fine. Maybe I would have better work right now if you'd given me a chance and if you'd actually helped me during those days when I needed you the most. But you didn't help me. And that's why I'm here. Actually, I'm grateful that I have a job. I deliver drugs for Martinez. <laughs> I already told you that. Anyways, I don't know. There's nothing left between you and me. If you'd been there for me, maybe I wouldn't be in this position today. I wouldn't be relying on drugs as a meal every single day of my life. But you couldn't be here. And so...
Oof, I swallowed that. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> disgusting, I swallowed that. <sighs> Anyways, you can get out of my apartment. I don't think I want anything to do with you anymore. You're disturbing my peace. You could as well just leave. Lee.